most of the people that lived here, that's what they did to make a living. They worked on the water. But to them, it was their livelihood that was important. When the first Vietnamese came to Sea Drift, they weren't really welcome into the community. Our boys got killed up there fighting them, and then they brought them over here to the States. A few came, and then a few more came, and the local fishermen resented them. All over down the coast, from Brownsville all the way to Louisiana, there was a lot of it. All we can do is fishing. That's all we can do. We, we have no skill doing this or doing that or nothing. We heard that the government had gave them money to buy their boats, put them on welfare, and gave them food stamps, and this and that and the other, which nobody's done that for me. We live here right now. We're American but we still a Vietnamese. They should go back where they come to. If you don't start looking out for the interest of American citizens first, this is our country. They just want you out of there. They don't want you there. It made it this racial thing, but I don't think that's the whole picture. What happened, it was just a fast culture shock and you could just hear the engine noise. They were coming at full speed at us. I come right close to his boat. He got a big knife out. It just escalated and some tragic, tragic things. They asked me, where's the gun? We were trying to stop any violence before it happened, and we didn't succeed. <laughs>